Hi everyone. So today we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the Neural Consult site. I'm going to avoid generating too much here. We're just going to focus on explaining how everything fits together and how everything works. Um, and then uh, we'll let you guys do the generation later. So uh, my name's John. I'll be walking you guys through the site today and we'll go ahead and get started. So this is the dashboard, as we can see here. Um, we have a search bar at the top, which I'll explain a little bit more shortly. Um, we have some daily games. We do a question of the day and an OSCE of the week. There's a leaderboard there. I'll show you guys a bit more about that. There's a quick generation box here where you can generate summaries, flashcards, and questions um, right away from your files. Um, and then we're really gonna walk through what's kind of below the fold here. So we're gonna go through search, AI notebook, uh, flashcard hub, a question generator and a clinical case simulator. Um, and the easiest way to think about this site is we kind of built everything based on this concept of medical mastery, which is how do you take a student from just learning something from a lecture and just being introduced to being able to take care of patients uh, in our simulated cases and then eventually um, in real life. So um, I think the easiest way actually to kind of understand where the site works um, is starting with the AI notebook. So if we go into the AI notebook, I have some stuff here um, already pre-generated, but essentially what you would do if you were first logging onto the AI notebook was you'd start a new summary. We allow for lecture uploads. You can do up to 10 at a time. You can put in a YouTube video. So pretty much any link will work here. You can select what you want. You can also choose some of your old uploads. Um, but for the purposes of today, I'm just gonna show you guys what this form looks like. You can also click uh, generate podcast as well. So once you would have done all that, we'll go back to the notebook here. You'll get some of these um, summaries. So. As you can see across the top, you can toggle through summaries. You can actually see the source files. Um, so this is just a, an article that I picked out online. Um, and then you'll get a nice editable summary. So as you can see, I already got started a little bit here. You can you know, make it italics, you can um, highlight, you can actually edit um, exactly what's in the summary. Um, and this is all based on, um, based on the actual file itself. What you can also see is a podcast. We'll just go ahead and cut to the middle here. We can listen for a second. Particularly relevant in the intensive care unit for treating several critical conditions. So for those of you that prefer, you know, auditory, auditory learning um, as compared to like text, uh, we have a podcast here. You can also download this and actually listen to it um, on your music app, uh, which also is for people who want to listen, you know, while they're on the go or um, working out. So this is kind of this, the notebook. Um, again, you can do multiple things. You can um, put them into different folders. You can create a new folder and move things around. Um, and then you can see all of your recent uploads here. And then, like I said, organize them into folders. So I think the easiest thing to understand from here is to then from these files, you can then create other materials. So here we have create question set and create flashcards. I think the um, next thing we can go to is the flashcard hub. So this is similar to Anki, except all of our cards are made by AI. So for each, um, each file you upload, you can create a, a set of cards. These cards are all um, brought together in this giant review deck here. Um, you can have different statuses, there's spaced repetition. Um, and again, you can really view these just kind of the same way you would do with Anki. Um, and this is all based in, and made by AI. So if you were to make one of these decks by yourself, you could upload a lecture, use free text if you wanted to copy and paste something, choose the lectures that you wanted to use and it would make cards that you can actually edit. Um, other than making that a lot easier for students, there's not too much that's hard to understand there. So we'll move on um, to the board question hub. So we offer AI questions for um, either from lectures or based on the type of exam that you're studying for. So essentially you have your, um, your old test sessions down here. You can create question sets up here, view your exam analytics here, and then there's a quick generation option. So I'm gonna start just by showing you guys what you would do if you were to create your own question set. So if we go to generate questions here, we can choose between these three options. You can create board style questions by topic. You can upload a lecture or an article. You can also get to that quickly from the AI notebook. Um, and then you can also uh, input free text. So just to show you guys what it looks like, these are some of the exams we offer now. We're always adding more. Um, you can choose which exam you want um, and then choose what systems, number of questions. And I'll show you guys what the questions look like in a bit. And then you can also upload lectures and then choose whether you'd rather have a generic question. So this one may or may not be a small vignette or just you know a standard question. Then this is board style questions. Again, you can choose however many files you want and then generate a question set based on the number of questions that you want. So just to show you guys what it looks like when you were to do that, um, you would press go, there would be some loading. So this is a, an article about empagliflozin, um, and then this is what it would look like um, for the actual exam. So you have your classic vignette, we do tables, we'll soon be adding images. Um, and then you can actually work through um, all of the questions based off of uh, based off of the file that you uploaded. So you can get to here right from lecture notebook. Um, you also get nice uh, explanations, kind of explaining 
um, why each answer was wrong, why spironolactone was right in this case. And then we actually are mapping each of the questions to board competencies, um, which persists kind of in any country or any um, you know general curriculum uh, in order to make sure that we're asking relevant questions for each student. And then um, from there, you can actually view all the analytics. So if we were looking here, um, you can review each question, um, whether you got it right or wrong, total percent correct, and what um, what systems you are good or bad at. And then we actually put this all together in a question of analytics. So you can actually view. Um, so if you want to view by step one or whatever exam you've been studying for, uh, you get your systems, you get your uh, visual representation of what you're good at and what you're bad at. Um, and then also you can see by lecture, if you wanted to, this is the lecture we were looking at by system, by question, how well you did. So, so far we've talked about the AI notebook, the flashcard hub, and then the board question hub. Um, I'm actually gonna save the OSCE hub for a different video, um, but just for a quick um, overview, essentially we have a giant case bank where you can actually interview patients um, and uh, you can either use our case bank or you can actually generate your own case. So common cases are the ones below. You can actually generate a custom case that you would want with AI. You can either choose a, uh, a lecture you'd want to base it off of, or you can choose a chief complaint system rotation. Um, so if you're on surgery, internal medicine, anything like that, you can create custom cases based on chief complaints that you maybe haven't seen yet. Um, we've also gamified it a little bit. So as you can see, there's um, a scoreboard here um, where people can kind of see how they did um, compared to peers. Um, and then there's also a badge system. So for each uh, case below, you actually can compete with the other users on the site. Um, and if you're the best on that individual case, uh, you get a gold badge and then from, from then on out. So um, I'll explain this in another video, which will be linked probably close, closely to this video um, to actually show you guys how that works. But um, full case simulator here where you can actually talk to patients. So really the last few things that are left are search and study sessions. So search is actually a, a really unique feature that I think is a little unassuming when you first um, come in. What's unique about what we're doing here is we're actually prioritizing your uploaded files to answer your question. So if you uploaded a bunch of questions on heart failure or, or uploaded a bunch of files on heart failure, um, we actually look through our own guidelines and then your own database that's private to only you in order to answer any specific question. So for instance, we had a, a lecture that was on empaglifosin um, in heart failure. So what we do is we can actually look it up and what it's doing is looking through your private database while it comes to an answer. So we'll actually cite this on the right side here that we'll see once it loads. Um, and then it will also look at um, the clinical guidelines. So as you can see here, these, this was the lecture that we uploaded um, that you could see in the AI notebook that it's actually using data from in order to answer your question. And then it's also searching the clinical guidelines in order to come up with relevant information for your question about empagliflozin and heart failure. Um, soon this will also actually identify exactly which statements um, were from the, uh, the uploaded files. Um, but right now, as you can see, all the information is included here. And then the actual citation for the guidelines are here so you can look for yourself. Um, and again, you have this nice, really beautiful, succinct um, summary of your question that you were asking. So from here, again, you can generate flashcards, generate questions. You can add this right to your AI notebook, um, or you can download it as a PDF. And then last but not least, and certainly not least, because this is my favorite feature, is study sessions. So how do we put this all together? All of the different features on the site um, are kind of, they live alone on the left side, but we also put them all together in a nice streamlined way, which we call study sessions. So we'll go through this again. We've been, our theme today has been cardiovascular and kind of heart failure. So this is the study sessions home. You can create study sessions by uploading files. You choose the session name, whatever course you're studying for and choose which files you'd like to include. And then you end up with this. So if we'll jump in, um, you can actually see down here that these are three study resources that we've put into our neural consult site to begin practicing. So um, one of the things we were talking about is IV fluids, um, empagliflozin and heart failure, and plasma phoresis. So right here, it actually keeps track of all of the different stages of mastery learning that we talked about earlier and puts them into a nice flow. And you can actually keep track of your progress. And then at the end, I'll show you guys that you can actually do what we call final exam preparation, where you can generate um, flashcards and questions that accounts for all these files. But to go ahead and get started, we can actually start with um, what it would look like to do this for a given file. So this is a, a, a review article on, um, on IV fluids. Um, so what we would get here is we get a nice summary like we get for the AI notebook. We get a podcast here. Then we get flashcards that we can study on the go. Um, and, and we can actually view all the, the actual back end of the deck. Then you'll get actual, actually custom questions based on that file like we talked about earlier. And then you'll get a custom case um, that actually has to do with the material, again, that I talked about during the OSCE simulation, where you can then 
practice taking care of a patient. So if you might imagine, you know, you get to view the original file, you go from summary to clinical case. Really, we've set up a, a one-stop kind of single user interface for uh, students to go through everything in, um, in one pass and then keep track of it. So you can see the other files in the study session. Um, and then as we go, um, so as we go here and we check things off and get things done, these um, sliders will move forward and then they'll eventually be complete. And then what you can do is generate a, a, a meta set is what we call them or final exam preparation. You can choose which files you'd like to include and then it will make a really big question set based on the files that you've uploaded within the study session. So right now, you know, you can imagine here's a 25 question set. You'll have questions on uh, the uh, IV fluids lecture. You'll have questions on the um, empagliflozin lecture. So everything comes together in this final exam preparation. So lastly, so we've gone through pretty much everything in this left bar now. Um, lastly, just a couple other features that I wanted to plug. So daily games um, is quite a bit of fun. Uh, we keep track of, we do a question of the day. There's a big scoreboard um, and it's something to just keep yourself sharp. And then we also do a case of the week um, where you're actually... Um, you compete with the other people on the site and you get scores for correctness and speed. Again, I'll kind of walk through the, um, the uh, OSCE simulation in a separate video. So, um, and then lastly, there is study groups where you can actually study with friends um, and uh, share resources, share files, um, whatever you might want to do uh, in order to kind of collaborate and compete with friends. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, any questions, please reach out. Um, contact us at neuroconsult.com. Um, it's managed by our support team and you know they'll make sure to answer any questions for you guys, but um, happy studying and uh, uh, good luck on your next exams.